Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy DK, man. Back with another video. Look, I know it's been a while. I know it's been a minute. I think the last time I posted was like four months ago on YouTube. I'm gonna tell y'all why. If y'all don't know, and if y'all didn't watch my first video, make sure y'all go watch that. I'm a college student. I go to Howard University. I was real, real busy with work, school, everything, especially when the spring semester got in. Actually, over the course of this period of time, I actually had my first pop-up shop. We actually did it on the yard. I'm gonna try to include the footage somehow, some way on the channel. I did record, but I didn't really like the footage. While I've been away, I actually did drop some new products, y'all. Make sure that y'all go tap in with the tote bags. They are the first drop of the Plugged In World collection that I'm having. The tees are coming soon. Soon, y'all and I might actually throw some shorts in there but look the tote bags they sold out but they are now restocked to so make sure that y'all go grab one y'all can pick between the tan y'all can pick between the black or y'all can go ahead and grab them both it's a great product right now for the springtime it's getting hotter and hotter outside and hey make sure that y'all go tap in with them but I'm back with a new video man today's video is going to be kind of different than what I've done on this channel it's going to be like kind of like a, a mini vlog slash informational video so I'm gonna be just showing you guys how you can print for other businesses and other brands if you out there watching and you like me everything i do for my clothing brand i do it myself this hoodie all the hoodies make sure y'all go shop these by the way the chameleon reflective i make everything myself everything i've ever shipped out anything you've ever bought from my site i've made it myself i've printed it myself and it's because i know how i like my things to look i'm very detailed and i don't really trust other people i don't have a distributor i don't have other people print for me you see what i'm saying so when you print for yourself it basically just allows you to print for other brands and other businesses so it's two main reasons why you really want to do that so the first reason being it's just it's just another way of revenue for your business so let's say it's a time where you know maybe your sales are down your sales are slow maybe it's a time where you're in between drops you see what i'm saying what this allows you to do is it actually allows you to say you know what boom while i'm kind of in this slow point i'm gonna just print for this brand print for this business and that's just going to be the revenue that just allows you to keep your business going that might actually fund your next drop that might actually you know fund uh you getting business materials things like that and the second reason you want to do it and this is my main reason helping other brands bring their creation to light i know how i like my stuff to look you know my products and everything and i got a lot more coming on the way but to help somebody else you know kickstart their brand and just put their brand from their mind to actually own a product uh it's it's empowering you know what i'm saying to help other people reach their goals so those are the main two reasons why you actually want to print for other brands and businesses and um today i'm gonna be printing for two brands um shout out to my man masai with a uh, hood rich slime clothing and also my boy matunga he's also a howard university student with his brand the lamine brand and uh his slogan be your own boss so I'm gonna take y'all here with me today. Kinda like, like I said, kinda like a slight little mini vlog. Make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into the video. What's up, y'all? It's your boy DK, man. So I'm back again. So look, it's a different day. Actually, today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just show y'all for the rest of the video, just kinda like a behind the scenes of just me printing for my bro brand, Hoover Slime. And uh, this is one of his newest designs that's coming out. It might actually be out by the time I drop this video, but if it's not, it's coming soon. So basically, I'm going to just take it on the behind the scenes of me printing for his brand. So let's get it. All right, so basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just going in on the computer. I'm sizing everything up. Um, I actually printed one of these shirts a couple months ago, last sometime last year. So I'm just basically sizing everything up on the computer first, and then we're going to get right into it. Alright, so for every shirt, you want to just go ahead and give it a good lint roll. Make sure you lint roll it off. Make sure there's no lint on it. Because obviously, you know, you don't want lint in your designs. So this design is really like a two print design, but both prints are on the front of the shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just line up the first print. You want to go four fingers down. And the way that this shirt is designed, it's designed to not be 100% straight. It's designed to kind of stay to the side like that. I don't know if y'all can see it yet. It's not like a straight print is supposed to be slanted. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to put on the next piece. For the second print of this design, we're just gonna go two fingers down from the top part of the design. So we're just gonna line this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that everything is lined up. And then we're gonna go ahead and press it. All right, boom, so everything looks good. So we're just gonna go ahead and give it a good press. There we go. Rich dreams. Yes, sir.
So I'm showing y'all this as an example of something that you can make for a brand that isn't necessarily like a t-shirt, a hoodie or something. It could be just as simple as this, a beanie, a one color press. This is for the Lamine brand I was telling y'all earlier about my bro that go to Howard with me. This is just a simple, I call this like a logo print basically, name, establishment date, one color, it's not that hard at all. And these are the types of things that you know you can print for other people's brands. These are items that they'll probably run through fast. I'm pretty sure he'll sell through these quick. So then the next time he wants to, you know, you just build in a, a relationship with your customer. Um, This is a simple press, five seconds, you know, you press it, boom, cool, move on to the next one. So basically the way you wanna go about actually printing for other brands is I say, just advertise yourself out there. Um. Put something out on your business Instagram. Text people that you know. Just say, hey, how you doing? If your business needs printing, if your clothing brand needs any prints, if you need anything done, I can do it. I can handle it for you. Um, you also want to have some examples out there on your page, um, some examples of custom work, because basically printing for another brand is basically custom work because it's not your brand. So you're basically, it's almost the same thing. They give you what they want to be done and you print it for them. The way that I actually got these orders and things like that was really just people knowing that I did my own brand. See, a lot of the times people just gonna come to you like, hey, who prints your stuff, bruh? Hey, bruh, I'm trying to get some, I'm trying to stop my clothing brand. Who did your stuff? So what I just tell them, hey, I print my own stuff. Everything's done in house. I can print for your brand too. You know what I'm saying? Now, obviously, you're gonna wanna work with them on a the price, but you also wanna make it worth your time because it's very time consuming when you print for other brands and yours. So you definitely gotta make it worth your time. But nine times out of 10, they're gonna go with you because you're gonna have way better prices than the local uh, print shop, anybody that they gotta send anything to and get it back. So you nine times out of 10 gonna get that service because you're gonna be cheaper and they know that your work is quality. I also do those custom orders. I've also done not only brands, but uh, sports events, family reunion type of t-shirts once you really get this going and once you can really print for other brands that's going to be a way for you to say boom put it on your page hey just finish some prints for such and such brand if your brand needs printing make sure you hit us up hey just did these t-shirts basically every time that you do something take pictures of it put it out there on your page so other people can see so they can feel comfortable sending you stuff because people ain't just going to send you nothing if they don't see no work out there so you want to put your work out there let people see oh okay they legit Oh, okay, they actually print for this brand. Cool. And if they buy something from that brand and that person say, hey, where you get printed from, they're going to go right back to you. So basically just advertising and putting yourself out there. And then also, if you're a brand and you have your own brand and you've been printing for yourself, people will come to you asking where you've got stuff printed from. And that's just a way for you to actually plug it in there and tell them, boom, I do everything. I can do it for you as well. So that's how you really go about getting the orders to print for other brands and other businesses. I've seen people out there that have a clothing brand, but they print bags for like grocery stores, like they local stores and things like that. So it, don't, it doesn't have to just be t-shirts. Uh, it could go way far beyond that hats, bags, things like that. You definitely wanna put yourself out there to let people know that you do it. So that way those orders and those requests can roll in. I appreciate y'all for tuning into this video, man. Make sure that y'all follow all of our social media, DK Clothing, DMV. Make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe to this video and also check out our website and also the new tote bags that just restocked y'all i'm telling y'all we just restocked so make sure that y'all go grab y'all's today appreciate y'all for tuning in we plugged in over here man let's get it